Greetings, everyone, and uh, welcome here to back or back or first time to Metarog's channel. I may be a big tongue twisted today because I'm going to share a, um, a sort of a, a wins and trades and AOKs and prize tags, just a cornucopia of different mechanisms in which comics and other goodies have made themselves to me. And I'm going to go through uh, each one, let you know how it is it got here to my grubby hands. Uh, the first um, ones were sent to me by Surf Blue, and uh, he actually will start here with the uh, Sega Genesis games. Now, Surf Blue, if you haven't uh, uh, heard of him or subscribed to his channel, I'll leave a link below. And he he's a hunter. Right? He goes to thrift stores, and he goes to garage sales, and he goes to this place called Wizards and he picks up all kinds of stuff like literally he probably makes a couple videos a week of all uh, of all the stuff that he picks up um, and I just want to share some of the stuff he sent me he sent me this devotional you know this is a little bit of a spiritual food that he sent me here and uh, this um, uh, DVD uh, of these missionaries that travel and risk their lives really for their faith and I can certainly get behind that he sent me a note too right uh, uh, Surf Blue is a, a, a great buddy. And what happens is that when he when he shows his videos, you know, I'll 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 say, hey, you know, if you're not going to keep this, you know, can we trade or you know, can you send it to me? And of course, he more more times than not, he um, you know sends me the stuff that uh, uh, that I like, and I send him a mystery box back. We just have been doing this for a couple years now. Uh, so he sent me this, uh, the Destroyer. Uh, I did not. Uh, I did not know this was one of the mystery ones. I, I don't know anything about this series, so I can't wait to read that. And this one I did know. I do have this issue, Ghost Rider twenty seven, but mine is in really really bad shape. So uh, he sent me this really you know really nice copy, uh, and I will send him my under copy. This is one Star Stream number three, which was missing in my run. This is a four issue sci fi series. Uh, really cool. I can't wait to read them all. I was waiting to get them all to read them. So thank you, Dave, for that. And these are a couple more surprises he threw in. Ghosts here, number 55. And Secrets of Haunted House, number 6. I, I love the mystery uh, and horror stuff from DC, so I'm glad he sent that. And speaking of horror stuff uh, and digest, I also love those as well. Here is the DC Special Blue Ribbon Digest, or is that Yes, uh, Best of Ghosts, so I can't wait to read that as well. Really cool stuff. Again, I, I didn't specifically ask for that, but I said, you know, he knows I like Digest. And this is something that I, I'm so glad I finally got. This is the uh, final New Teen Titans drug issue that I was missing, and he found it, and I asked for it, and of course he sent it my way. And here's another promo that I asked for, and he sent my way, X-Men the Movie. And there's a couple of these, but I did not have this version, the special edition from Toys R Us. Here's an Avengers I was missing in my run, again, which I asked if he wasn't keeping, so he sent it to me, 357. I think I'm missing 358 and a few in the 390s. Monster Hunters for modern, uh, modern Comics. I do have this in my Modern Comics complete set, but I, this might be a better condition, so I'll check on that, and otherwise I'll send that on to somebody else. Same thing here, Legion of Superheroes number 312. I have this issues, but I bet this is a better condition than the one I have since mine has probably been read quite a bit. And here is Battlestar Galactic number 18. Again, this is another surprise he threw in. I've actually never read an issue of Battlestar Galactica there. So I'm glad he sent that. And just to say, so I can say, hey, I've read one. And here's another Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery. These don't have numbers on them. I didn't look them up. Um, but I do like these um, Whitman Gold Key uh, um, mystery ones as well. And finally, Journey into Mystery 18. These are those 50s. Marvel reprints, which are always a lot of fun. And finally, he sent me this really cool uh, greatest stunts ever with, uh, you know, scenes of stunts, including some from Spy Smasher, one from It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, one of my favorite movies. So thank you so much, Dave, for all that stuff. I really do appreciate your friendship and helping me out with my collection on the way. And again, I will leave a link to his channel below so you can sub him up if you are so inclined. Next, um, Mastazon had a had a giveaway, which there were 10 winners, okay? And I was one of them. I think I was like eight on the list. And I just got the box from him. Um, and then he had this um, 
there on top. And thank you so much, Donnie, for, again, for this really generous giveaway. I mean, 10 people got uh, uh, prizes here. And let me tell you, there's some pretty good stuff in here uh, uh, because these are sets and I'm a comic book reader. So for me, this is this is exciting, right? Uh, and most of these I'd never heard of. Nora, this is a sign set, right? One, two, three, and four. Okay. Again, I don't know anything about this. I'm, I'm, I don't know much about ind modern independence or anything like that. So to me, this is exciting to get into it and read the, a four issue arc. And there's a lot more here. Here's also Dead Day. Uh, looks like uh, Day of the Dead, perhaps, um, uh, you know, possibility. Uh, it's, it seems like it's somewhat in that vein, but I might be completely wrong about that. But again, he sent me issues one through five here. So again, another five issue art. Can't wait to read that. And this I was pretty excited to see because Dark Red, I actually, somebody sent me that one of these in a, in a contest win some time back, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, and so this is, I think, 10 issues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I can't wait to, oh my God, it's so exciting to be able to read all this stuff. Great, great stuff here. Thank you so much, Donnie, again. And again, this is one, uh, this one I was pretty excited to see in there as well. I actually have never read this, even though this is back in the 80s when I was um, buying and collecting a lot of comics. I never had, I got this uh, mini series here from Green Arrow. And it's the whole mini series, the whole issue of mini series. One, two, against Count Vertigo. Uh, did I put these uh, in the wrong? Yeah. Sorry, let's start again. One, <laughs> two, thir three, and four. By the way, this this how this this box was packed so well. Bubble wrap. He had like the little tape with the little tabs. I mean, a lot of care and love went into this. You can tell that uh, Don is a uh, collector extraordinaire. And then finally, look at this. This is the last little set he sent. And I can only imagine the other, the, what other people have gotten, right? Because if, they, if they're getting, comp if he's giving away like these comp uh, the runs, I mean, that, that's that's great stuff because, you know, again, you get a pretty good indication of what this series is about. Obviously, there's an homage to House of Secrets 92 here. The plot. I've heard I've heard good things about this um, on some of the videos, so I can't wait to get into this. Looks very horror, supernatural like, right? Um, what's that? Five? Is that right? Four? Five? Um, six? Ooh. Seven? Really, really horror themed here. And eight? Yeah. So eight issues. Again, that's uh, thank you so much, Don, for all of this. Well, that was a heck of a great prize there, uh, Don, that you sent uh, me. And I, I know some people even got slabs in the whole bit. So uh, there are some who I'm glad I didn't get one of those because, you know, I'm not really a slab guy. So I, I'd rather some other people get it. Then finally, the bigger, the biggest box here came from the classic comic collector, my buddy Scott. Actually, Super Rust 9000 won his contest, but he prize tagged me. Okay, so Russ, I can't thank you enough, buddy. I mean, I, I know Scott and his collection, how eclectic it is. So I knew it was going to be stuff in here I would really, really like. So I was very excited. Um, and uh, he asked for a want list. I sent it to him, but he knows I like the quirky stuff, the odd stuff, the oddball stuff. So you know, he sent me a lot of that, so I am super excited, right? All right, first of all, let's go here. He is also a creator, right? So this is his comic book that he writes and draws, The Crime Busters, number one. Uh, it's a continuation of, essentially, The Adventures of Chuck Chandler from Boy Comics, uh, from Lev Gleason. So I'm very excited to get this um, and, and read it, because I know that he's, I know this is going to be good, because he is, uh, you know, I've, I've done a, a video, a couple of um, a podcast with him, and the man knows comics like <laughs> better than most anybody else I know on this planet. Uh, this is very exciting here. Uh, compliments of Club Med Archie. Uh, really cool, really cool. I don't think I have this one. I will double check. Um, 
I don't think I have this one, so that's very cool. And if I do, I'll make sure that somebody gets it uh, who appreciates the promo stuff. And here is uh, Flintstones at the New York World's Fair. I do have this one, but I don't think I have the 29 cent variant version. So uh, thank you so much, Scott, for that. So cool. I mean, this is just exciting. And here, you know, at first glance, you're like, oh, well, it's just a flash number 332. But look over here, 95 cent. That makes this a Canadian price edition. Uh, again, these the, the it, were, it would be only newsstands. They didn't dual price. They had a special uh, cover printing for Canadian, uh, the Canadian market back in the 80s, I think mid 80s or so. Yeah, so and this is one of them. So great. That goes right to my my uh, Canadian price edition. And here's another uh, uh, UK price edition of Kid Colt 119. Notice there's no month so forth because it used to come like much later than um, than it did here in the States. And you have a 9D here instead of a cent price. Very cool. Thank you so much, Scott, for that. Here's one that was on my list that I'm missing for my run, Adventure Comics 426. I think I'm only missing 427 and 429 or something like that. I wanted to have the uh, uh, after Supergirl and all the way through Aquaman on Adventure Comics. Uh, really cool run here. Uh, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Like to know. And here's a couple more that I had on my list. Tomb of Dracula number 16. I'm missing in my run. And number 18. Okay. I'm only missing number 17 now. Uh, I'm missing some of the earlier ones, but I'm not so uh, concerned with those. I'm concerned from when I started, which was issue 14 and up, I believe. And this is really, really something. He sent me a Captain Victory, but it was in a, still in his mailing envelope here with the little, um, there it is, with, still, with the little um, insert, uh, a little advertising insert in there. So, uh, you know, he knows I like all this quirky stuff. So thanks again for that. I actually have a Captain Victory that was owned by Jack Kirby. So that's going to go right with that. Here's another gi giveaway. Uh, Spaceman Discovers Christmas. I've never heard of this one. Uh, really cool. Looks like PJ Young's New Brunswick Toy Center. Oh, neat, neat stuff here. I've never even heard of this. Thank you so much, Scott, for that. Uh, here is the true story of Smokey Bear. I do have one of these, but I don't think I have this particular uh, printing of it. So again, that's going to go in my promo collection. Same thing with this one, Hero uh, Premiere Edition of Bone. Uh, I do have the Hero Illustrated, but I don't think I kept, or if, if this was a send away, uh, man, cool. Very cool. I don't have this one. That I know. And Bone is such a cool character. Here is Santa and the Angel, uh, Dell Jr. Treasury. I think I do have this one. But I'm not totally sure, but I think I do. Uh, and if I do, I'll make sure somebody gets it. But again, a very cool, I love Christmas uh, themed issues. Oh, this was really nice. Uh, this is Lassie, uh, issue of Lassie. Again, they, they don't put the issue numbers here on Dell. But this is actually Matt Baker Interiors, uh, if you can believe that. He didn't just do the romance stuff. And some of the earlier, he did Lassie. I heard he wasn't like crazy about it, but uh, it's so good to have two Matt Baker interiors here of Lassie. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, that. What a, what a what an amazing artist he was though. And this is a dangerous issue he sent me right here. Tender Love Stories number four. He's, of course, uh, the, uh, his collection of romance comics is just out of this world. I mean, it's, you've got to see his videos. Oh my God, I'm going to put videos to all, I mean, links to all these channels, including Russ downstairs. And I have a complete Skywall comics collection, except the romance ones. Now he's giving me number four. Now, these are only, it was only four in in this, in this run, in this series. So now, boy, now I want to get the first three. Thanks, Scott, I think. <laughs> uh, here's Archie meets the Punisher, number one. Uh, what, what, what can you say about this kind of team up? <laughs> this is, to talk about the most diametrically opposed characters you can possibly put into a comic. This is it. I've actually never read this, so I can't wait to see that. Uh, here is, I know why he sent me this one, Richard Dragon number one. He and I did a uh, two, two video series on Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter from the 70s. Um, and so he sent me this one, I think, as sort of a reminder of that. Thank you so much for that. Uh, here's some cool old DC uh, sci-fi Strange Adventures number 148. Really nice. I love those old things, those old comics from DC. Here's Spaceman from Dell. I do have a Spaceman, but not this one. This is a, a different um, a different issue altogether. So thank you very much for that. I love those sci-fi things. Speaking of sci-fi and mystery, here's Mysteries of Unexplored Worlds. Number, what, does it have a number on here? 
I don't see the number on here, but this is uh, probably issued in the 30s or so, but from the 1960s. And then, as I said, he's a, he just has an incredible romance collection, so I'm glad he sent me a few of them, because I'd love to have um, p uh, comics for people's collection when that's their focus. So here's a Girls Romances, number 71, and Girls Romances, number 102. Okay? So, uh, boy, he's, he's, let me tell you, he, his, his romance collection is out of this world. And here's one I had never seen before, Glamorous Romances from Ace Comics. He said there's a panel cut out. He put a little sticky, I don't care, I'm going to read it and uh, probably going to enjoy it. Uh, here's uh, another oldie here, Golden Ager, uh, United Comics number, I don't know if that's number 10, Fritzy Ritz. I do have a few from United Comics, but not this one. Uh, thank you again for that. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm a big Jerry Lewis fan, so it's nice to have one of these older Adventures of Jerry Lewis number 77. This prize package is amazing, guys. I mean, absolutely amazing. If you don't enter his future contest, I don't know what to say. If this doesn't spur you to do it, I don't know what will. Um, Rip Hunter Time Master number 25. I think I have a few of those Rip Hunters, but not that one. Here's uh, for you Batman fans, Detective Comics number 367 with the puzzle down here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, here is uh, House of Secrets before it became the gothic and the horror. Um, it had these um, had other characters as well, but this is one Eclipso and Prince Ramen were in there. And then some of my uh, some of one of my favorite uh, whimsical series, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen seventy nine, number eighty eight, and the ape issue here of one sixteen. And then we get to Sea Devils. I love these charcoal kind of covers that were on the Sea Devils. What do you call that? Uh, gray tone covers. And here is Sea Devils number 13. A little chewed up in the corner. It doesn't matter. It reads well. Here is uh, Power Comics uh, Northern Light. I believe these were all newsprint covers. Uh, I don't have... Uh, I think I have one, but not that one. And this one I do have. Uh, this is Super Cops number one. This is... There's actually two versions of this. This one is the no price version, but I think this is a much better condition. So thank you, Scott. I'll swap it out and give it just the other enter copy to somebody else. And here's a complete run of the of the series, Sherlock Holmes. I think there was only one issue of this. It's a one shot essentially from DC in the 70s. I didn't have it though. I've always wanted this one though. So thank you, Scott, for that. Again, this is such amazing stuff he sent. DC special number five. This is the um Joe Cooper issue. Um, big Joe Cooper fan, so thank you so much. I can't wait to look into that one. And again, he's also a big Archie collector, and here is number 622. Uh, I love the Christian comics here, obviously being a, uh, a follower myself. And here is The Hiding Place from Spotfire Christian. I've never, I don't have that one. So thank you very much for that one. Here is Anything Goes number four. Uh, I know that this is a George Perez cover. So he knows I'm a George Perez fan. So maybe that's why he sent it to me. Actually, I've never read any of these. So thank you very much. Here is the generic comic book. I do have this one as well. But this one, I bet you anything, is in much better shape than mine. So I'll make sure that my undercopy goes to somebody who appreciates it. Here's a reading copy, ergo coverless, of Mr. District Attorney. Again, no problem. He knows that I, I read all my comics. So that is going to be read and loved. Thank you very much. And here is an issue of Herbie, The Fat Fury, from ACG. Obviously, this is a remaindered copy. They would rip off this top part when they were would return the comic uh, when they didn't sell it but instead of saying the whole comic they would just do that to get credit and then finally we have two issues of bobby sherman number three and number four of course everybody has to have a couple of these in their collection so that that's amazing stuff hey okay so that's it i got it all uh in under 20 minutes uh, again i will leave links to all these channels uh great community members. Obviously, I'm above the moon uh, with all the great stuff I just received here from these three gentlemen and Rust through his prize tagging. I can't thank you enough. I am just, I can't, I, I'm so blessed to be part of a community that's just so giving and has, you know, just so many great individuals in it. Uh, I can't, again, express that enough times, okay? All right, I'll be, I'll get out of here. Remember to check out the uh, roundup on Thursday where you're going to see as many contests as I can fit in there that I find here in the community. All right, everybody. Everybody knows what I'm going to say. Be kind to each other. Be blessed and be back.
Bye.